Okay, so what you want to gonna do, that didn't make sense, what you're gonna want to do is get your primer and you're gonna want to put this all over your face so it covers every inch and this is just get rid of any pores and like dents in your face and stuff and it makes your skin look all soft and smooth and level so you're gonna want to put that all over your face and then rub that in Then once you've done that, you're going to want to get your green concealer. Mine is a liquid concealer, you can use a stick if you want to. But this is to get rid of any red spots that you may have or blemishes or pimples and stuff. Also if you have like red bags under your eyes, you can use that for that too. So then you're going to just want to rub that in too. Now get your foundation that is your skin colour if not lighter um, or whatever colour you want to use and put that on every inch of your skin on your face and your neck so you don't have any like lines and stuff. You're also going to want to rub it into your lips so they're pale and like the rest of your face. Now get your powder and just go over your face with the powder to get rid of any shininess and stuff and to make your face look a little bit more matte. Now get your eyeshadow brush and your eyeshadows. My eyeshadow palette has like 120 colours in it so it's perfect for cosplay. What you want to do is you get a white shimmery eyeshadow and put this on the inner corner of your eyes to make them stand out and look bigger than they actually are and the reason I'm looking up is because my mirror is above me so I apologise. Now using a lighter, well a light yellow beige kind of colour you want to put this all over your eyelid because using these hair is like a ginger and then put a darker yellow um, on the outer corners of your eye and a little bit in the crease. Now you want to get an onyx colour and this is to add more depth. You're going to put this in the crease and then blend it out a little bit onto your eye lid. This is like I said to give your eye a little bit more depth than you actually do have. While I was doing this, this is a very give or take, like I had no plan for the makeup, I kind of just did it, so yeah. Now what I'm doing is that I'm putting a white eyeshadow on my eye, just under my eyebrows to give them a little bit more like definition and stuff. If that, that's not the word, I can't think of the word. Now just contour your face to make it a, li a little bit more slimmer than it actually is. This is just to give a little bit of a chiselled look but not too much, this is why I'm using a lighter colour so it looks very natural and not too defined. You are also going to want to contour your nose to make that look slimmer than it actually is as well because anime characters seem to have very small noses. Now get a brown eyeshadow or whatever colour you want to use and fill in your eyebrows to define them more than they there obviously. For Izumi I decided to have curved eyebrows more than chiseled eyebrows because I wanted to keep the uh, rounder face that he has instead of a small like chiseled face with lots of features so I thought I'd round them out for this reason. Now, you're going to want to get your black coal eyeliner or pencil eyeliner and put this halfway along your waterline. This is for later so you can join up your eyeliner. 
Now get your liquid or your gel eyeliner and just do like a normal eyeliner thing on top like you can see I'm doing here. And just wing that out a little bit but not upwards, just go straight out. I prefer to use gel eyeliner because I feel like I have more control over it so it also comes out a lot darker than liquid eyeliner which I prefer. Now you're going to want to make a little bit of a triangle here um, to give a bit of a round eyed look and then go in and do what I'm doing here. and then do the same on the other eye. I did have a little bit of trouble getting these the same. Obviously it's going to take some work to perfect eyeliner, but like I said, I had a lot of trouble getting them the same. The first eye came out great, the second eye took a couple of tries to get it right, but that's just common with eyeliner. It's going to happen. This is where I started to get it right-ish. And there you go. So when you have this done, you are going to want to get your white eyeshadow and fill in the bits between your eyes and the eyeliner. This is to make your eyes look bigger and stuff like that. Now take a red eyeshadow and just put a little bit underneath the black in the corner bits. I always have trouble doing this to make them the same. I don't know why, I just do. And it's a pain in the ass, but I get there eventually. This is just to make your eyes look bigger and defined more, so it's worth doing. And yeah. Now I've got my cosplay on and my wig cap on, I'm just getting my wig. And it's really poofy and I feel like I need to cut it a little bit more just because it was really hard to style but then you put your wig on after you brush it out I got this wig from Amazon for about £15 which is about $20 I believe so if you want it just do it it's a really good wig it just needs cutting a lot because it is so long when you get it and it's still really long when I've cut it so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video and yeah bye